In this tutorial, I want to show you how to find a random sample with no repetition from a list of data. I'm going to show it with both the color calculator and then the non-color calculator because they actually work slightly differently. So let me show you the color calculator first. Now, first let's look at our problem. We have 50 cartoon characters, the 50 greatest cartoon characters according to a CNN poll, and I want to select 10 of those characters. All right, so here's what you do grab your calculator and you want to store a number as your seed. So you want to basically telling the calculator where to look at in the random number table. So I'm going to pick 25, but you could pick anything you wanted. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to say 25. Then I'm going to hit the map, the store button, STO right there. I'm going to hit math. And I actually want to move my way to the probability menu because probability is important for our course. And it's number one, RAND, R-A-N-D, random. So you press enter and it'll just say 25. That's fine. All right. So now I want to hit math. I want to go back to that probability menu and you can see number eight is rand int no repeat random integer integers are one, two, three, four, and so on. No repetition. I don't want any repeaters. So I'm going to pick number eight. So you can either just go down with your down arrow to it, or you can actually just press the number eight and it'll act automatically happen. Now you want to tell it the lower number. So the lowest number on our list was number one, which was Bugs Bunny. The highest number on our list was Tom and Jerry at 50. Okay, so my lowest number is one, enter. Upper number is 50. And I want a sample of size 10, so I'm going to go N is 10. And then I'm going to paste it. And it'll look like this. Okay, ran in, no repeat. I want from one to 50, choose 10, enter. And there's the list of 10 numbers, and there will be no repetition in there. All right, another way you can do it with this calculator is math. Go to the probability menu. Pick number 5, random integer. But if you do that, realize that you're allowing for repetition. So you say 1, enter, 50, enter. Oopsie, 50. And then I'm going to pick 13, and here's why. Because if I have repetition, I want to be able to toss out any repeats. So 37, 48, 31, 4, it doesn't look like I have any repetition in there. And that's fine, I just won't need to use the last numbers. There we have it. So just take the first 10 numbers and you have your random list. But sometimes you'll have like 48 and 48 and you'll only want one 48, so you'll toss off the second one and pick the next number. All right, that's with a color calculator. Now what about a non-color calculator? So let me switch to one so you can see what it looks like. All right, so if I go to the math menu and then over to the right to PRB, probability, and then if I look, if I go up to the very top, if you will, so up and it gets you to the bottom of the list. It says rand int no repeat right there. So I'm gonna choose that, rand int no repeat. And then I wanna tell it one comma 50 and stop right there. Give it a parentheses and close it. You cannot do the extra comma 10 thing. It won't like it. So all you do is take the first 10 numbers here and then you're set. So you take your first 10 numbers. By the way, if you wanted to set your random seed ahead of time, you could do that too. Like I could say 25 store math number one random and then it's going to store that as the seed. You're basically telling it where you where it, there's a table that the calculator looks at essentially for random numbers. You're telling the calculator where to look. That's all. All right, so that's how to do that. You could also do the other method that I showed in the other video, so you, or the other portion of this video. So um, on the color calculator, I could pick number five, random integer. I could just say one comma 50. And again, I'd pick a bigger number than I actually need. That way, in case there's any repetition, oops, see 32 and 32. I'll take 32, I'll take 20, I'll skip that 32 and then go with 37 and so on. So I'll be able to toss out any repeats because I've given myself more data points than I actually need. All right, so there's how to do a random sample, find a random sample with both the regular um, calculator and the color calculator. I hope that helps.